I have a really fun project today. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, it's really fun. So I hope you stick around to the end to see the finished product. If you don't already have an advisor, please pick me. And don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, hit the little bell so you know when I have a new video up. And head over to Facebook and check my schedule of events. Some have Zoom options. Okay, you ready? It's really fun. Let's go. Okay, so I got a new tool that I'm obsessed with. And you're probably going to see a lot of it. It's a fuse tool. No creative memories doesn't got, have one. I got this on Amazon. But it's so cool. So I'm going to use a little piece of wax paper so I don't hurt my mat. I have a few pictures. I have a 6x12 peekaboo pocket. Or actually, I have five pictures. I have a metal ruler so I don't burn my plastic one. And I have some scraps and embellishments from seasonal sightings and then some red cardstock scraps. You know how I love to use scraps. But I also really love to copy. So we are totally copying from my sister advisor in Australia. And then I have some fun confetti. You could make your own confetti. I saw this project done with um, Halloween. So she just used some dark glitter and it was really fun sequins and then I have this punch which is not available anymore unfortunately um, but it does come back occasionally so keep an eye out on it for it um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is punch a border with this guy and remember with the border punches you start on the black line on the front and then just cover the blue in the tray so I'm lining it up and then I'm just gonna cover. Real simple. So these pictures are from, mm, not last winter, but the winter before when the national Christmas tree came through our town and we all got to make ornaments for it if we wanted. And then it came through the town, so we got to take pictures with it and all this kind of stuff. It was really cool. Get rid of my trash. And then I'm gonna cut this at one inch. Or just as close as I can. Yeah, probably it's less than one inch maybe. Oh, the very tip top of the tallest trees is at one. Okay, so just a little strip of trees, nothing huge, okay? Then I'm going to put a little bit of repositionable on here. And I get my little sticker backer out because I like to use that. And you want to use the repo because you're going to see it on both sides. So you won't be able to see it and you don't need a whole lot. Just a little. Because it's going to be inside a pocket, right? Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna shove this into the pocket all the way in there as best we can with it being sticky. This might be difficult, but we're gonna try. Now, granted, I have not used this fuse tool yet. So this is a brand new experience for all of us. And hopefully it all works out. And hopefully I can get this guy down in here. Get in there. Oh. It moved. Once you get it where you want it, push that adhesive down. Isn't that cute? So we're off to a good start. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that confetti in there. And we don't want a whole lot, because we don't want it too bumpy. So I don't even know, I have just 
So that's probably too much of that in one spot. That's probably plenty of the snowflakes. And then I'm gonna put a little few gems in. That's pretty fun. Bringing in the parchment paper. So I'm gonna line this up on one of the lines. And now's the scary part. We're gonna fuse this, but we don't want We don't want to fuse through any of that paper or glitter. Can't turn back now. Okay, let's see how it did. Oh, look. It's all stuck in there. How cute is that? I love it. And it didn't hurt my mat. Oh, maybe right there a little it did. I pushed too hard. Hung out there too long. Whoops. That's fun. Might be obsessed slightly. Okay. So now we got to cut our photos. I'm going to set this aside for a minute. They are going to be three and three quarters by four and three quarters. We need two photo mats that are four by five. So I got some red scraps here. I'm hoping will work. So we can glue our pictures on. So these hopefully should fit right in our pocket. Oh yes, it sure does right in there. Just like so. Okay, so now we're gonna fuse this in here, but I don't wanna make it too tight. So I gave a little bit of clearance there. Got my wax paper back out. I gotta remember not to be, not to hang out in one spot too long. 
And here we go. And we got a little pocket. Okay, let's do the top. Look how cool. Okay, so now our final piece, we're done with the fusing tool. Our final piece is gonna be a little decorative element right here in the middle. And it looks like it's about three and three quarters or so. So we can do three and a half. So we're looking for a three and a half by five piece of paper. I'm hoping this scrap is big enough. Ooh, it's gonna work. Oh, it moved. There we go. Three and a half by five. I think I can safely throw that scrap away. I got a little journaling box for one side that I thought I would use. But I might want to make all the edges the same. So let's get the wave out. And remember with, oh no, that wasn't the wave, it was the scallop. Scallop. And remember I had wrote where the humps go. So this actually looks like this. So if I turn this around, it should match when I cut it, if that makes sense. So my logo is opposite of this logo to make this gallopy edge and it should match and it does perfect I'm gonna put my blade back before I forget did anybody get the new blue trimmer mine should be here today I'm really excited All right, I'm gonna do some embellishing on here. And then this picture is gonna go on the other side, but obviously I have to trim it some more to three and a quarter. And I already have tape on it, that's why I'm cutting it upside down. And I could do some more embellishing on this. So this is a fun way to use up a few um, a few pictures when you don't have enough for a layout, or maybe you do have enough for a layout, but it goes with something else and you need more room. More real estate for your pictures. So, so awesome. Let's see. I'm gonna pop this guy up with foam squares. And then I'll journal on here about how the Christmas tree was, the national Christmas tree was here in our little tiny town. All the preschoolers got to make ornaments for it. I think anybody that wanted to could. And then you could come sign the, the truck. It was pretty neat.
What should we put on the back here? We just have some stars that would be good, probably. What's a few more foam squares? Our tree. Okay. So now this thing is ready to go in my scrapbook. Isn't that so fun? I love it. I hope you can see that properly because it's so cool. Let me do this. Wasn't that so fun? Okay, don't make a run on Amazon and I know I'm not affiliated with this tool, but everybody probably should have one because that was pretty fun. Um, and don't forget about your six by 12 peekaboo pockets. You can get them here. And your seasonal siding products, they're so seasonal sidings. That's what it's called. They're so pretty. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe.